Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to transform functions graphically. Now let's take a look at um, the instructions. We are to use the given graph, so the graph provided here, um, to sketch the graphs of the given transformed functions by transforming the given graph f. Okay. Uh, and then after graphing the transformed graph, we're to verify using numerical methods that our uh, transformed graph is in fact correct. Okay, so let's um, take a look at the first one. So this graph right here um, is y equals f of x. And for question one, we are to graph f of negative x. Okay, so let's start by writing down what the transformation looks like um, using our a verbal representation first. Then we're going to look at the graphical representation and then we'll confirm using numerical methods, okay? So what kind of transformation does f of negative x um, have on uh, f of x? So the transformation is a, um, a reflection a reflection horizontally across the y-axis. So what this um, transformation involves requires whatever part of the graph that's to the right of the y-axis, that portion will be reflected to the left side. And whatever portion of the graph is on the left side of the graph, that portion will be reflected to the right. So basically, our y-axis is our mirror of reflection. Okay? So taking a look at this graph that we have here, can you visualize what the graph of f of negative x will be? So let's go ahead and graph that. Um, we'll just focus on the points. We'll graph the points and then we'll connect the lines. Okay. So let's start with point A. Point A is two units to the left. So we're going to reflect horizontally two units to the right. That will take us from the second quadrant to the first quadrant. That will be the reflection of point A. Let's call it A prime. Okay. A prime is going to have um, the coordinates <coughs> positive 2 comma 1 okay so let's write that down so a prime is going to be positive 2 comma 1 all right now let's take a look at point B point B is right on the mirror okay it's on the y-axis so when it's reflected is reflected onto itself Okay, so point B and point B prime are going to be identical. B prime will um, also have uh, the coordinates. Let me put it on the left side. So point B prime, which is the same point right, that we have right here, it will also have coordinates 0, 3. Okay, next point to reflect horizontally is point C. Point C is 1, 2, 3. It's two units to the right. Remember, we're counting by twos here. This is one. Okay, so if we reflect horizontally across the x-axis, it's going to end up two units to the left. So this would be point C prime. Okay, and the coordinates, if we count it, it's negative two and negative one. Negative two, negative one. Okay, and then finally, point D is 4, negative 1, 4 units to the right. So, um, reflecting horizontally across the y-axis will take it 4 units to the left. Counting from point C is just 2 units, 1, 2. Just add 2 to uh, 2, you get 4. So, this is point D prime right here, and it's 4 comma negative well it's negative four now negative four comma negative one this is negative four right here okay now let's go ahead and connect the dots so you can see what the graph of um f of negative x looks like okay so we'll just simply connect the line segments dc d prime c prime c prime to b prime and then b prime to a prime. So there goes the graph 
of f of negative x. Let's go ahead and label it. So this graph right here is f of negative x. Is our answer correct? Let's go ahead and verify numerically to see if um, our results are in fact correct, okay? So what we have is we have um, point f. We have some points in point, point f. So f of x is x, y. We have four points in the transformation that we're going to do is f of negative x, okay? So um, what does that look like? f of negative x just requires inverting the sign of your x-coordinate, alrighty? So if we want to verify numerically, starting with point A, point A we have uh, negative 2, 1, right? Negative 2, 1. Using this rule right here, A prime would just be the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2, comma 1. Point B is 0, comma 3. Using this rule right here, if we invert this, take the opposite of the sign of uh, the y coordinate, um, of the x coordinate, sorry. Uh, the opposite of 0 is just 0, 0, comma, 3. Point C is 2, comma, negative 1. Using the rule here, C prime will be uh, negative 2, comma, negative 1. Just take the opposite of the x coordinate for, the, for point C. And then point D is 4, comma, negative 1. If we apply our transformation rule, f of negative x, we just negate the x coordinate, and that will give us d prime, which is going to be uh, negative 4, comma, negative 1. Okay, so let's compare these points that we have here to the points a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime to see if it's correct. So a prime, 2, 1, good. b prime, uh, 0, 3 that checks out c prime negative 2 negative 1 and then d prime negative 4 negative 1 so our answer is in fact correct all right now let's take a look at question 2 for question 2 we are to graph um, f of no we are to graph negative f of x okay so for number 2 we need to do negative f of x Okay, so what kind of transformation is this? Let's describe it verbally first, and then we will go ahead and carry out the uh, graphical transformation. Negative f of x um, involves a reflection, a reflection vertically across the x-axis. Okay, so you see the difference between this one and the previous one, right? When you have f composed with negative x, it's a horizontal reflection across the y. But when you have negative f of x, is a reflection um, vertically across the x-axis. So what does that mean? It basically means that um, the portion of the graph above the x-axis will be reflected downwards beneath the x-axis. So quadrants 1 and 2 end up in 4 and 3. And then the portion of the graph underneath the x-axis will be reflected upwards. Uh, 3, 4 will go to, to 1. Okay, let's go ahead and graph the points of the graph negative f of x. Let's start with point A. We're reflecting vertically. So since point A, let me correct this real quick, is um, negative 2. 1, we're going to reflect straight down. Let's make it green, so it's just one unit down. Okay, uh, this will be point A prime, which will be negative 2, negative 1. Let's take a look at point B. It's 1, 2, 3 units up, so we're going to reflect vertically 3 units down. That will take us right here. So this will be point B prime, uh, which is going to be 0, comma, negative 3. Okay, this is negative 3 right here. This is negative 2, negative 1. Okay, now um, let's 
go on to point C. So let me put this so it's clear. This is negative 1, and this is uh, negative 2. Okay, point C is uh, one unit beneath the x-axis. So if we're reflecting vertically, it will end up one unit above the x-axis. So point C prime, the image of C on the ref uh, vertical reflection is going to be right here, which is um, 2 comma positive 1. And then for negative 1, uh, so one unit below if we reflect horizontal or vertically across the x-axis, it will take us right here. And the coordinates will be 4, comma, positive 1, 4 point D prime. Okay? Now let's go ahead and connect the line segments to create um, the graph of the graph of um, negative f of x. Let's make it green. Okay, so a prime to b prime right here, uh, b prime to c prime right there, and then c prime to d right there. Bam. Okay, so the green function, the green graph we just sketched, let's put a mark right here, this is uh, y equals negative f of x. Okay. So this graphical transformation um, indicates what a uh, the transformation of negative f of x is. Now let's um, verify that our results are correct using numerical methods. So we have we're given some points on the function y equals f of x. Okay, so for this one uh, we have for the original let's just call it f of x. So f of x is x, y. That's the original uh, set of ordered pairs that we were given. The black function y is equal to f of x. And then we're doing the transformation negative f of x. Okay. So let's write down the first set of points. We're given point A is negative 2, 1. Point B is 0, 3. Point C is 2, negative 1, and then point D is 4, negative 1. Okay, negative f of x involves negating the y-coordinate. Remember, y is equal to f of x. Okay, so negative y is going to be what negative f of x is. Just keep that in mind. So the transformed coordinates will be x stays the same, but we negate, we take the opposite of the y coordinate. So a prime is going to be negative 2 comma, take the opposite of 1, gives you negative 1. b prime is going to be, instead of 0, 3, you take the opposite of 3, 0, negative 3. c prime Instead of 2, negative 1, we have 2, comma, the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. And then d prime, instead of 4, 1, we have 4, comma, the opposite of negative 1, which is positive 1. Now let's go ahead and check. Point a prime, negative 2, negative 1, checks. 0, negative 3 for b prime, correct. c prime, 2, 1, yes. And then d prime, 4, 1. So our transformation y equals negative f of x is in fact correct. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If this tutorial help you, helped you in your study of a transformation of functions, you give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this tutorial, just place it in a comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgotserved.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.